Welcome to Coffee Calm and Connection Bite Size, where we deliver key takeaways from our full interviews on current topics from mental health experts. I like the idea of naming the inner voice. It's so powerful. Yeah. Do you have a a name for inner Faye? Well, actually, just from listening to him, I call it Becky too. And, And it's funny because I introduced that podcast episode to my other half and he really enjoyed it. And when we're kind of having, you know, if we have an argument or if something, um, you you have a fallout or, you know, the next day, sometimes one of us will say to the other, um, yeah, I was having a moment. Becky was telling me that you don't care about me because I, uh, you know, because this, this and this. And it's just being able to like, disassociate or label that part of you or or that kind of reaction that isn't logical and isn't who you really are deep down inside so yeah we both talk about uh, our Beckys it's like the alter ego isn't it um one although I'm sure that's got a medical connotation that I probably should not say yeah I'd just like to say no um no offense anyone called Becky as well (laughs) (laughs) it's just the name this guy uses you could Um, name it what you want (laughs) I um I had a conversation with somebody who's who's um going to come on board and be one of the sort of mental health contributors to uh, Coffee Calm Connection, and we were talking about Coffee Calm Connection and who it's really aimed at. Now everything I'm everything I'm driving is, if I'm really honest, it's me as the target market, right? Yeah. So who am I? Well, I'm a working mum of three. I'm falling off the tightrope every which way I yeah. am very hard on myself my inner voice is not perhaps as, as as wonderful as it would be I'm probably in terms of income brackets somewhere in the middle and I'm you know that's who I am and he said to me I call that avatar Claire so I'm going to call my inner voice Claire <laughs> So Claire and I are going to make more friends, make friends. I'll tell you something else that's really interesting, feeds into that. I'm at the moment doing Noom. I don't know if you know Noom, but it's an app and it's around psychoeducation towards food. Okay. So constantly on a diet and have been yes. since I was eight. Um, <laughs> well, uh, sometimes I think just accept it, Sarah or Claire. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, um, that's a whole other one. Oh, it is. And what Noom talks about is the elephant and the rider. And if you think about in your head there being the elephant and the rider, the rider's logical, the elephant's emotional. But actually, the rider can never overpower the elephant, ever. And if the elephant's going to go in direction X, the rider can sit on top of the elephant and think they're in control, but they're not. They're literally just going along for the ride. So rather than this constant friction between the rider and the elephant, how do you, how do you manipulate to get what you want? Well, this sounds awful, but understand the elephant, understand the elephant's triggers, understand kindness, understand compassion, and actually sometimes give the elephant the Kit Kat or, you know, whatever it is. But if it's done in moderate, in moderation and with compassion and kindness and sort of an integrated relationship then actually the outcome is a lot less angst for all so I'm going to make friends with Claire Claire and I are going to go for a coffee later (laughs) 